Let's position. Time for a little ultrasound registry review on patient positioning. Patient positioning is really crucial during a breast ultrasound. It helps to thin the breast tissue, which can decrease the amount of depth needed to penetrate through the tissue. And also it helps spread the breast tissue evenly over the chest wall, which helps with maintaining consistent image optimization settings. Good positioning also helps you achieve good contact of the transducer with the skin and ensure that you're not missing any tissue, that the entire quadrant is equally evaluated. And also, since follow-ups are often done at different breast centers, it helps you create a more accurate and reproducible mass location. If every breast center is positioning patients the same way, then the location of a mass in the breast will be more consistent and easier to follow up. A wedge pillow is a foam pillow used in ultrasound imaging, but especially in breast ultrasound imaging. And this helps to accurately position a patient and used for pretty much almost every ultrasound exam. It helps support the patient's back and ensures that the patient stays as stationary as possible. It's hard for a patient to stay in a fixed position if they're having to hold themselves up. So this wedge pillow helps hold the patient up so they don't have to concentrate on holding themselves up. And it also helps ensure that patient positions are reproducible between imaging facilities. There are multiple patient positions used in breast ultrasound, dependent on the size of the patient's breast, the area being evaluated, and the mobility of the patient. The first patient position is known as the supine patient position, and this is where the patient lies flat on their back, the ipsilateral arm, which is the arm on the side beam scanned, is raised above the patient's head. A supine patient position is used to evaluate the male breast, a patient with a small breast, the medial breast, which is the upper inner quadrant and the lower inner quadrant, and can also be used to examine the axilla when the breast size is small to medium. A supine position is not used to image an axilla in a patient with a larger size breast, as in this position, the breast will roll over the top of the axillary tail, obscuring the area of interest. The next patient position used in breast ultrasound is the right and the left posterior oblique position. This is the most common position used in breast ultrasound. The patient rolls slightly onto their side and the patient's ipsilateral arm is placed above their head. A wedge pillow is placed behind the patient's back and we use the right and the left posterior oblique position to evaluate the lateral breast, which is the upper outer quadrant and the lower outer quadrant. Also used to evaluate patients with medium to large size breasts and can also be used to image the axilla. When the breast size is large, it can flop over part of the axilla, making it hard to image, especially the axillary tail region. So rolling the patient into a right or left posterior oblique position can roll the breast out of the way of the axilla so that the axilla can be fully examined. A right or a left lateral decubitus position is our next patient position used in breast ultrasound. And this is where the patient is rolled steeply onto their side. This is too steep of an angle for the majority of breast imaging and can actually thicken the breast tissue when used in a patient that has a small to medium sized breast. This is primarily used when the breast size is very large. It can also be used to image the axilla when the breast size is very large to move the breast out of the way of the axilla. In this position, the patient is rolled steeply onto their side, either the right or the left side, and the ipsilateral arm is placed above the head, and the wedge pillow is placed behind the patient's back. The next patient position used in breast ultrasound is a sitting up position, and the patient can either be sitting fully erect or in a semi-erect sitting up position. 
For this position, the arms remain down by the patient's side. It's important to note that this position actually thickens the breast tissue, which can hamper the breast ultrasound, and so it should only be used when it's really necessary. A sitting position is used to evaluate the superior breast, which is the upper outer quadrant and the upper inner quadrant, when the breast size is large. Some patients, when they're laying flat on their back, the breast will move upwards. The top of the breast will not be flat enough in order to evaluate the breast, necessitating either a semi-erect sitting position or a fully erect sitting position in order to move the breast into a more inferior position and flatten out the tissue. This position can also be used to interrogate tissue that's located above the breast in a far superior position, such as when a patient feels a palpable mass in this area. I hope you enjoyed this quick registry review. This topic is on the ARDMS breast ultrasound exam. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next videos on Wednesdays.